Hey y'all, it's Caleb again. Happy Sunday. Today's topic is uh, can online trans groups help or hurt? That depends on what the group is. Um, I've been in some that were very helpful. I got some uh, great support, wonderful information um, related to transition, just basic support for being a human and having human experiences. Um, uh, I'm medically transitioning, uh, so I got some great information on some of those sites for uh, hormones, um, things that you know, hair growth, um, you know, my voice started dropping, um, it wasn't happening fast enough for me, so you know, I got great support from, from uh, guys that had been transitioning longer than me, uh, who said just be patient, it'll come, and if it doesn't, don't worry about it, just work on you. And then all, I've also... Uh, chosen to have top surgery, so I had um, good information from that, uh, what to expect. Um, I had some heads up about how to plan for my top surgery before I had it, you know, how to make my house safe um, and accessible when I couldn't raise my arms over my head, you know, stuff like that. And um, I'm looking at the bottom surgery now, so I, I'm with some uh, some people that are, are uh, some guys that are undergoing bottom surgery, so they're posting their progress and it's helping me make a decision of what surgeons to look at and uh, you know, what things to expect and if I want metoidioplasty or phalloplasty and you know, it's just helping me answer a lot of questions. I'm still leaning towards metoidioplasty. Now with that said, there are some great groups out there online. Um, there are also some that are not so great. I've had experiences where um, I felt that the the transmasculine groups, some of them that I were in, I was in, uh, I left them because there was um, I'm going to call it stereotypical male ignorance, you know, misogyny, um, you know, middle school sex jokes, and I mean I'm not a prude, you know, I'm just, but I'm not. Um, I guess I'm just a little more conservative maybe I'm, I just I'm not interested in fetishizing anybody um, I don't want to and I don't want to um, I guess sometimes some of the groups I've been in have, have put me in a mindset where like I have the corner on human suffering and you know I'm entitled to you know whatever you know, or, or there'd be rhetoric like, just be a man, you know, I just, I guess I've evolved past that point. So those groups are harmful to me because I'm not there anymore. I'm 41, um, graduate student. I'm, I'm looking at lar the larger picture in my life now of where I fit in the world, not just as a trans man, but all of my identities together, transgender being a part of that, although it's the foundation for me, my gender as a male is the foundation of my identity. I don't want to be necessarily part of groups where it's my only focus anymore. So I guess with that said, you know, I'm, I'm uh, part of groups that are transgender specific, but they have to do with uh, professional employment, um, social justice, um, on, on not just just LBGTQ issues, but, you know, uh, racial discrimination issues, how to fight injustice there, how to fight workplace discrimination, sexism, how to spot misogyny within myself, you know, how to see my own biases. Um, I'm with groups uh, uh, specifically for trans people that are in human services fields, um, and in some groups that, that deal with uh, medical transition. I'm not in very many groups that are solely for, um, you know, hanging out or chatting. I have one or two, but those are really, really reduced down now, and I'm very picky about the groups I'm in. Uh, so I, I guess that's just my experience, though. I mean, everybody's going to have a different experience. So like with any group online, you know, be discerning, stick to your guns, know who you are or learn who you are and what you find valuable and important in your life. Um... And so with any group, it can be helpful or it can be hurtful. So uh, just keep an open mind. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid that if one group is serving your purposes and you find after a while that it's not anymore, don't be afraid to you know, thank them for, your t for their time, but um, you know, move on.
So uh, that's just part of being human, part of being alive. When the groups that have harmed me the most are the ones that I stayed in past their expiration date. They were no longer helpful to me because I wasn't in a place where I related anymore. And when it became harmful is when I tried to force myself to uh, continue being in my boyhood, I guess I could say. You know, that, that early transition time of what does it mean to be a man? What does it mean for me to be a man? Where do I fit? What does this all mean? When I tried to keep myself in that place when my my spirit or my identity or whatever you want to call it was was now transitioning, was now growing beyond that, that was what was harmful to me. It probably wasn't the group in and of itself. It was just that I wasn't any, I was no longer there. So um, let yourselves grow. Let yourselves become who you are. You know, that's the, the right of every human being, not just trans people. Um, and I think maybe that was something that I had an issue with in some of the groups. Um, when I first came out, I really needed to hear that I was okay, and I kind of needed to be angry at, at cisgender people for a minute. I don't want to be a part of that necessarily. I don't want to point the finger and say those cisgender people or those cis scum or whatever terrible things are being said now. Uh, now I, I just want to be part of the human family as I am, as the person that I am, and discover who that is. So I seek groups now that are not uh, as divisive. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Happy Sunday. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to become a paperboy and do something like this, um, leave me your email in the comment section. I'll get you connected with Ty and uh, we'll, we'll give you the email where to send your audition video. Thanks. Have a great day. Happy Sunday, y'all.